second half. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Demetrius Woods. Alongside me, Shane Rocky, our guest host. He is a freshman here at Putnam County High School, and he was doing me a great favor tonight as being my guest host. Um, our Putnam County Warrior Eagles are hosting the Crawford County Eagles. Um, our guys are under the direction of head coach Jack Williams as DJ Waller, Jr., number 14. Makes the first two points of the game. On the scoreboard for you, we have Bethany Thompson, our technical re technical director, Tom Hirsch. And on our cameras, we have Chris Williams and Trayvon Ellison with the bottom camera. Crawford County lost miserably last night to Bleckley, so we'll see how well they rebound as DJ Waller doesn't get the three to go. We'll see how well they rebound from that loss last night and see if they can... And our guys are lost. As number 13, the three does not go. Follows his own shot. Gets his own rebound. But DeMarco and McClellan going up the floor. Gives it over to DJ Waller who's going to go in for the layup. Gets and it blocked block by, by number, number five, five, TJ Hicks. That was a nice block there. He got high up into that air. And Crawford would take it up court to Hicks, and that will be in for two to tie it up. If you weren't here for the last game, our girls beat the Crawford girls 38-19 as Tonton gives it up to Gary Waller, who can't make the layup there. Rebounded, number 20, flying up the floor there. Gives it up to Hicks, drains the three. For their first lead of the ball game. They'll take the score 5-2. Nick Banks by himself. And gets. There was a foul on the play. A foul. Uh, he missed the shot, but there's a foul on the play, and he'll shoot for two here. Well, the foul looked like it was away from the ball, but maybe. Who? I mean, it will look like number 13, apparently. Uh, Howard down there with the foul. So Nick Banks are going to 
He's going to take the first two free throws of the game. And first one's up, and it's good. And the second one here. And that's off the rebound. And right. offensive rebounded by DJ Waller. To McClellan. McClellan. Does not go, but follows his own shot. Might want to slow it down here. Nope. Tonton's going to shoot it, and he and doesn't make it. Off it and Offensive rebound again. DJ Waller's going to shoot it. And he doesn't make, make it. Make it, but finally it's rebounded by Crawford County player number 10. So three missed shots there. I feel like we should have slowed that ball, that slowed the ball down a little bit. As number 20 goes up for the three, doesn't get it to go. Rebounded by Gary Waller. Tough. Being double teamed, and he gives it off to his co-member, DJ. DJ and up Waller foul. Now, and he will take... One more at the line for a three-point play, hopefully, to take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. And here will come one three throw. Hopefully, we'll make up for make a three point play to take the lead here. And it's up, and it's good for that three point play to take the lead six five. Man, I know you guys at home can't see Coach Jack Williams, but he's looking very spiffy over there in that gray shirt, man. <laughs> At number five, out at number 20, gives it up. Shot. No good. He gets really high when he shoots the ball. And he's stolen. And good for two points to take that lead back. Ball out to DJ. To McClellan. To Banks. McClellan. To McClellan. Up and, and a, a pushing foul pushing. on number 13, Howard. And that would be War Eagle Ball. And Nick Banks will do the inbounding here. With number 20, Jarrell, in his face. And now it's Crawford County Baller. Well, I think the referee is trying to explain to him that he couldn't take a step. And a technical foul on Nick Banks was just called. And maybe he said something to the ref that was not very uh, friendly. Rashad Ellison, number 32, is going to come in and, and replace him there. But he gets teched up, so that's going to re re result in a couple of free throws for Crawford County. And the first one is missed by Moore. And here comes the second one, and that's no good either. So 0 for 2 for the two free free throws. But they do get the ball, so that technical foul was uh, very so. spontaneous here. I, we're not even halfway through the first quarter, and Nick Banks... Gets, gets a tech called on him, so number, number five, T.J. Hicks goes and shoots it but misses. Rebounded. Nice pass down low as Hicks gets the assist from Moore. Rashad Ellison over to McClellan. Rashad, deep pass to D.J. Waller. Cross court. D.J.'s going to drive for the jumper, and it's good. Good. Nice bank shot there by D.J. Waller. That is his seventh point for the game, and we're only four minutes in. Nice pass there. Oh. Nice dump pass to number 45, Knowlton. Almost stolen there. DJ Wall gets across half court and slows it down. To McClellan. McClellan. 32. Tauntaun with the Taunton, post, and 
and doesn't get it in, but there is a foul, and he will take two at the line. So the big 5-0 is going to go to the line for two here. Misses the first. Misses first. And here's the second one. And it is good. So right now the War Eagles are 3 for 5 for three throws for free throws tonight and Crawford County is 0 for 2. Rashad Ellison out on Moore. Ball swung, swung around to the corner. The 13 can't drive it. Gary Waller gets With a strong rebound there. Rashad Ellison to the corner. And, and stolen, stolen by Hicks. And, and stolen, stolen by Rashad. <laughs> Rashad almost walks there. Rashad wide open three. And does oh, not go. So close. 45. Nolson there. Nolson with the rebound. TJ Hicks over to 20. For the post and oh. Hicks gets the ball back. Rebounded by 20. And kept his feet inbounds right there. Goes to oh. Great grab. Hicks again. And it good walks and on the play. walks. So that will be War Eagle ball. And the ball will be inbound to DeMarco McClellan. And tipped by number five. And Crawford County has the ball now. Oh, and goes over a little shot Ellison there. And almost gets the dunk. And, and stolen. stolen from McClellan. And four quick points there. This ball goes out to DJ Waller. And DJ. On the floor. Fouled, it was on the uh, floor. He was on the floor, so that two points will not count. But he will get two at the line. Nope. No? Oh. No, no two. Tauntauns coming in the ball game. For as well as senior number 20, Damian Brennan. Gets his first look tonight as DJ Waller has to go up high for that ball. Over to his right to Rashad as Tauntaun, the free throw, doesn't go. And that will be out for War Eagle Ball. So Nick Banks was back in the game after that technical. Rashad Ellison back to the bench. Did a great job coming on for Nick there. Today's matchups aren't looking so well earlier. Uh, Gary Waller they... down low, but can't get the shot to go. But those matchups earlier, uh, the reason they got four points is they had a tall guy and a short guy. So those matchups are a big factor in this game, too. Yeah, I agree. And foul there on the play is number 45, Knowlton. So he'll go to the line for two free throws. And here's the first. And that will be good. That sends the lead to seven. And the second one's no good and rebound by Tom Quavius Horton. Banks. Ball. Getting teamed and Kick ball. Kicked. So that will make it War Eagle ball. And Nick Banks will inbound it to... Whatever open War Eagle players open. And timeout by Coach Williams of the War Eagles team. All right, so we're also going to take a timeout for you guys as well. Thank you.
some school like that, that they do this for golf. And we are back and kickball by Crawford County. That was like he was playing kickball for real that time. Like looked he like he was playing a little soccer. They almost went into the stands. Luckily there was a little fence there. But War Eagle ball and balls inbounded to DJ Waller to Banks. Wide open over there to the far side of the court is Damian Brandon. Tauntaun with it and it's blocked, but no, there's a foul, and Tom Quavis Horton will take another two at the line. Right now, he's one for two for right now. And the score is 16-9 with 137 left in the first quarter. Tom Quavis can't get the first free throw to go as number 43, Colbert, will come in and replace number 45, Knowlton. One free throw left for Horton. And this will make Horton two for four tonight. A little 50% right there. Not bad. And Oh, Tom a Quavis. nice defense there. By DJ Horton. Waller gets it over to Nick, Nick Banks, Banks by himself. It and it's good. Nice, good two points right there. Now they're just down by 14. So, number five, T.J. Hicks will take the ball up against D.J. Waller and a nice back pass to number 13, Howard. Hicks back with the Hicks. shot. And Doesn't go. Damian Brandon, Nick. And Tom Quavius Horton will end foul on the play. A foul on the play. So, it will be War Eagle ball. Tauntaun with a great rebound there down low was fouled from behind by what looked like number 20, Jarrell. And this... That's going to result into a one-on-one -on -one, uh, free throw shot. It's going to result in one free throw shot. It's like Crawford's County making too, too many fouls tonight. Yeah, there's already seven fouls for them tonight, and we're not even done with the first quarter. So I know. That's going to be a big factor right now. Absolutely, because we're going to be in the bonus for the rest of this half. Yes. Um, so Tonka Wave Sorton with his one free throw is up and no good. So make him two for five tonight. And, and wide open drive goes number goes 12. Two with 45 seconds left. Virgil player inbounds the ball. Banks and out of bounds for Crawford ball. Or that's going to be War Eagle Ball. My bad. Yeah, that went off the hands of the defender. Damian Brennan got his hand away in time there. He's going to inbound the ball to DJ Waller. DJ Waller is going to look over to Damian. Damian's going to look back to DJ. And he's going well, for a long three, and it's right off the rim. And Gary Waller went up for it. The number five Hicks with the rebound, and it looks like a foul there on the Gary Waller. Gary. So 24 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Our guys down by 6, 18 to 12 deficit. Trying to hold Crawford here to no more points. Three, and it's no good, but rebounded by Crawford rebound. and rebounded again by his own shot. Going to bring it back out. Less than five on the clock. And, and it looks like a There was a foul. Foul? Yeah, it looked like he walked there. Looked like he walked, yes. Looks like he walked. But he was probably fouled before that, so, so he's going to go to the line for two. Get up in the line for two. Right now they're one for four tonight. And misses the first one. And he makes his second one. Nick Banks heaves up the shot. Does not go. So that will end the first quarter. Our guys, 12, Crawford, 19. We'll be back with you guys in the second quarter. Thank you very much.
And we are back for the second quarter, um, 1912. And here, DeMarco McClellan to Banks. Back to McClellan to DJ. Does a fake, goes up and misses, but Nick Banks with the rebound and misses again. And Hicks will get the rebound there. And that's a oh, man. very high three right there. That was a beautiful that shot. Was, that was really good. And, oh, almost just a steal there. DJ. DJ Waller, three on one now. And, and oh. can't drain the layup. Oh, McClellan and McClellan goes with up. the amazing steal right there. Taking it down court and passes it to nobody, but it was off of a Crawford defender. So it goes... It goes War Eagle Ball here. <laughs> DJ Waller gets the ball down low to Tonton. Nice Horton and nice. nice post right there. And that will make the score 22 14. Crawford I need to up. get the ball to Tonton more often as number 12 goes up for the shot. Uh, and the that three pointer is good. Three. But draining some threes right now in the second quarter. Yeah, back to back possessions with three pointers as that ball goes out of bounds on Crawford. As number 12. Harden coming off the bench with a three-pointer there. It's number 20. Jarrell, I think, came back there. Moore, excuse me, Jarrell. With, and that will go out off of Crawford, and that will be War Eagle ball. And we've got a timeout call here by Crawford. Crawford? Yeah, it was Crawford County with the timeout call there. So we're going to take a break as well, guys. And we're back with you guys here. Nick Banks is going to inbound the ball here. Finally gets it over to DJ who gets a nice bounce pass there to get out of the trap. As Tonton. -ton. stolen by Crawford player Jarrell. Goes up for the left and. Nice contest uh, by Nick Banks, but nobody down there to help him out. So rebound by number 13. He makes it two. McClellan with the inbounded ball to him and is fouled. So McClellan will go up to the line for one shot. Well, he got trapped down there. Nobody came back to help him out. As Coach Williams was a little fired up on that play. Only two players on that side of half court, but it, luckily it resulted in a foul. So McClellan is going to go to the line for a one-on-one -on -one situation. Hopefully this one point make the deficit the 12 and it's up and no good. So Putnam's right now four for nine tonight. Number three, shot fake over to so, Moore, Jarrell, and he drives it in. So it looks like Crawford's not thinking, left that last game's, uh, last night's game behind because they're really doing really good tonight, 29-14 right now. Absolutely. Nice steal there by... Number 13 over to Jarrell, and it's good. So they get, they've scored 16. Excuse me, not really 16, but what was, what was the score before, before first quarter? I'm not really sure. They're scoring so many points so fast, it's hard to tell. Yeah, anyway, they're up by 16 points now as uh, they go into the timeout. And, and uh, our guys are still... by Crawford, so... Yeah, I got are still in the bonus, so hopefully we can draw some more fouls, uh, whether they're shooting fouls or not, get these guys to foul us and so that we can go to the line for opportunities to score points um, without the clock going. Again, we'd like to thank Shoppers Pharmacy, Marvel Works, and Farmers and Merchants Bank. Rashad Ellison gets the ball over to Damian Brennan. So over to uh, Nick Banks. DJ Waller there. And there will be a foul, so DJ Waller will take one to the line.
And Crawford County is making a lot of fouls tonight. Maybe that's why that loss was so big last night because they made too many fouls. Yeah, they, they've definitely got a deeper bench than than their girls team does. So and They don't DJ have much of a reason miss, to foul too much. And DJ will miss that free throw, so Crawford rebounds the ball. Number 11 gets a bring up top. Moves to his right over to the 43, over to 13. The 20, and he's up for the jumper, and he makes it. Off the rim into the glass and back in the hoop for two. Damian Brandon gets the ball stolen. And Rashad Ellison with a hard. That was a good, legitimate foul there by Rashad Ellison. So he's going to make him earn his shots now. And that will be five fouls for them right now. So any more will... Any more fouls will consist in one free throw at the line. And yeah, that's Harden currently at the line right now. D. Harden. And he will miss the first. As sub Tonton number 50 comes in for Damian Brennan. So on the floor right now for your War Eagles, we got Jerry Waller. Tonquavius Horton, Rashad Ellison, Nick Banks, and DJ Waller. As Harden misses the second as well. And wide open down here is DJ. They go up for the layup and doesn't get it to go. And Jump ball. It's going to go. go. Possession arrow going towards Crawford's way. Crawford, so, so it be Crawford's ball. Um, well, Crawford's not doing so good on their free throws nor fouls. So on tonight for free throws, they are two for eight. And on fouls, they have made nine. And it's still in the upper second quarter. So it's going to be a long game tonight. Yeah, somehow they're still up by a large margin as this three-pointer does not go. Tom with the great rebound. DJ Waller going up the court fast. And a foul on the play. And DJ's going to go to the line for two. And the Warrior Eagles team has not been capitalizing on the free throws. I mean the fouls today. Ten, that marks the 10th foul for Crawford team. And DJ will sink his first three throw of the two he has. And he will miss the second one. So that marks him five for for five for twelve. So they're below fifty percent. And Tarquavius Horton with the rebound there, and he's going up. He passes that Gary Waller, but throws it too hard and off of Gary Waller for a Crawford ball. A little bit of frustration right there by Tonquavius Horton. He was a little frustrated with himself with that pass, but he's going to bounce back here as number 43 with the ball. Number 11 now with the ball with the three. Does not go, but falls his shot. And this one will go over to Jarrell. Jarrell's going to put up the jumper, and it goes. He's got a long, linky figure there, number 20. Rashad and Ellison loses it, but over to Nick Banks it goes. And, and he's Banks up misses and the layup. misses that layup. Crawford taking the ball. Jarrell down. Jarrell can't handle the ball. Fumbles his feet on that ball. Putnam should capitalize this. DJ they got Waller. Four down. And no he good. misses the three. And, and DJ Waller. Well, throws it. Smart play by throwing it off a Crawford player. And that will mark it Putnam ball. And DeMarcio McClellan or DeMarcio McClellan will not be subbed in. Nick Banks, nice and shot, nice three. and one, and he will go for one for a four-point play, which you do not very see that much often. It's really hard to get those four-point plays in. And it looks like Crawford County is making a little sub here. 
So Nick Banks trying to complete the four-point play. And he sure does. Nice four-point play. That would be a nice four points to catch up. Back so that'll this. cut the lead from 20 to 16. And... And uh, guys, I believe we're going to have a halftime show tonight from our from our step team. Nick Banks taking it down court to DJ and is fouled and misses the two, so he'll take two at the line. And this is what I was talking about earlier, these foul shot opportunities that we are presenting to ourselves with, you know, being in the bonus the entire uh, the entire second quarter. We're going to really need to capitalize on these free throws. So he's going to get two now. Hopefully he can make at least one of these. So number 13, Howard, will make his second foul tonight. And DJ up, and he misses his first one. I'm telling you, the War Eagles are not filling up to the how many fouls Crawford's giving them and how many free throws they're giving them. They're not capitalizing on them. Let's we'll see if DJ can drain this one. And he does. And he does. Over to Moore. Tom Moore, the War Eagles for 7 for 15 on the free throws tonight. And he drains a 3 right there to take the lead back up to 20. The score right now is 40 to 20. With stolen. And stolen, and that will make the lead 22 to 20. I mean, 22 now. The 42-20 ball game. Nick Banks going to drive it up to D.J. Waller. Uh, and foul. Foul, so he'll take two at the line. That is the 13th foul. 13 top, 13th foul of the first half. Scorekeepers um, aren't keeping up with the fouls right now. That's marked at 10. I don't think they go any higher, but right now we've counted 13 fouls in this second, in this first half. And number 43 will make a foul there. That'll be his second of the game. And DJ will miss his first one. Very frustrated with himself on the line. He usually does not miss free throws like that. He hopefully he can bounce back and make this one. Go 50% from the line. He does not. He's still this short. Is the second one. So hopefully we can play some stiff defense here. Last two and a half minutes of the ball game. And hold this lead. War Eagles telling you right now needs to run on a good run to end this first half, give them a little bit of momentum to the second half, but no. they just gave up a two-pointer right there. Yeah, the defense definitely fell apart on that one. Just kind of picked it apart there as Hicks made that shot. Nick Banks driving. And is fouled. And 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 no technical. Number 13 calms himself right there. Smart move, smart move. Don't want to give up more. And that was number 13, Howard, with the foul on Nick Banks. That will be Howard's third foul tonight. And that will be the 14th foul that Crawford has made. Comes Bank with the first one and misses. So we got Lakee Mosley and DeMarco McClellan coming in for Damian Brennan and DJ Waller. Hopefully DJ Waller can have a better second half. And let go of those frustrated emotions there as Nick Banks is going to try and make this second free throw. And he, does he doesn't. Not. As a lane violation. But, so that means he will get an extra free throw. Hopefully he can make this one. Let's see if they can capitalize on this one here. And we do and not. This is. So three straight free throws miss, missed, and so Crawford has given them, has made 14 fouls, and they've given them 19 shots, but they've only, but the War Eagles have only made a total of seven for 19. Not a good percentage right there. And the big tip in by Crawford, and another steal by Crawford, and he travels on that play. Tries to, to try the Euro step down in the paint. Doesn't go. The key mostly inbounds at Nick Banks. Almost stolen there. 
who goes up the sideline. Up and in. Oh. His the foul was foul. on the floor. And his feet were on the ground. So he'll take one at the line. Oh, he's got two at the line. Never mind, it was a shooting foul. So this makes it 15 fouls and... Man, 15 fouls in one half. That's... 15 fouls and 21 shots. But right now, they're still 7 for 20 right now. Hopefully they can make it 8 for 21, not put a 33% chance. Uh, 33%. On their free throw making, and he makes it, so that'll make it eight for twenty-one. And Banks has been fouled a lot in this game. He's made, a, he's been shooting a lot of free throws, but he's only made two so far. Charging foul. The referee makes a bold call there. And that will make it sixteen foul. Crawford County not wanting to hear that as Amari Casey comes on the floor. Replace Nick Banks as well as and Dion well Nick Bride will come his first time into the game for number fifty, Tom Quavius Horton. So DeMarchio brings it across half court, gets it over to Amari, back to him. The key goes inside, but not Crawford a great County. pass there. Crawford County will take that ball back. Moore over to 11. Three-pointer no and no good. And throws it back in. And Nice save there. Or save, but and Gary Waller gets the... Oh, Gary Waller looked like he walked on that one, but no call there. DeMarco being double-teamed. Tries to get it over to LaKey, but LaKey can't handle it, and it'll go back Crawford away. So I make it Crawford ball, and... Referee going to go to the scores table to figure out some well, piece of information um, here. Major Howard is the athletic director for the Putnam County War Eagles is going down the court to talk to the ref. And it looks like there's an unorthodox fan or... Something going on down there in the stands. Um, the referee doesn't ha- has a problem with it. But anyway, we're going to resume play here as the ball is inbounded to number three. And there's a minute left right here in the end of this first half. Pass number four to number 11. Back to four to three. Three. Four, three. 20. A lot of passing right here. No shooting. They're trying to get the defense off guard. Great ball movement. Moore and finally gets a shot up, but misses. No. Gary, Gary Waller the rebound and and it's Crawford, gonna stay here. Crawford's gonna get that ball back. So 30.4 seconds left. Crawford's probably hoping to get the 50 for in the first half. Number three will take the ball, taking out some time, taking out some time. Pass back. Twenty and no good. Try to get his own shot, his rebound on his own shot, but just went nothing but air. Demarcio, three seconds, shoots for the buzzer beater, and it's no good. So at the end of the first half, a uh, humongous lead by Crawford County, forty-six to War Eagles, twenty-one. So it looks like Crawford County is forgetting that game last night. Yeah, absolutely. They move on to bigger and better things. They go into the half for the 25-point lead, but we're going to go in as well with a break. We'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. I'm Demetrius Woods, Shane Rocky. See you guys in a little bit.
and we are back for the second half of today's game of the Crawford County Eagles versus the Putnam County War Eagles and the Crawford County Eagles right now have a 46-21 lead over Putnam. Yes, sir. Rashad Ellison is actually going to take the floor to start this half. He gets it over to DJ Waller. Back to Rashad. Over to Nick Banks. Looking for Gary Waller. Down in the corner. Almost stolen there. Rashad Ellison. They go up for the drive. Doesn't go. Number 45 with a rebound. That's Knowlton. So, the first half stats of Crawford County's defense has been 16 fouls. And... Putnam War Eagles offense has been 8 for 21 on free throws, so Putnam is not capitalizing on those fouls right now. Yeah, I agree with that. As DJ Waller gives himself a, a pass <laughs> there. <laughs> gives a pass to himself and throws it back in, but it's rejected by a Crawford defender, and he goes up, and that's 2. Ooh. That'll make it 48-21. Yeah, that was a nice lay-in there by Jarrell. Nick Banks is going to try and go up the sideline. And stolen by Jer oh, oh. almost there. Head-to-head -head contact. Jarrell's on the floor right now. But he's getting As back up slowly. Nick Banks comes in for the drive, the right hand, and it's good. That would be the Putnam's first two points of the half. That's a nice little switch there from the left to the right hand by Nick Banks. And there is a timeout. Timeout by Crawford County. And we're back, guys, as Moore will inbound the ball. Crawford County with a 48-23 lead here in the third quarter. And number three will pass it to 45. Tries to post, and he gets the post, and it's no good. And Tonquavius Horton with the good rebound right there. That was explicit defense there by Tonquavius. But the ball is stolen. By number 13, and he will pass it to five, Woo! and number five will take it in for two to yeah, make that score to 50 now. Yeah, TJ Hicks with a nice little lay in there. That ball is kicked off of Crawford County's foot, foot. but not called. Not called, so that will result in two points for Crawford County. Take their lead up to 29. Putnam's defense needs to come up now, and their offense needs to come up too. And, and a foul a on foul Jarrell. On, so that will be two points for Jarrell. And tonight they are two for eight, not doing so well either. Surprisingly, they have not been to the line as much as um, I thought they were. They've only been aligned about four or five times. So Jarrell's going to attempt the first free throw here. And it goes. As Damian Brennan's going to sub in for Nicholas Banks, who just had a birthday yesterday. Well, happy birthday or, to Excuse him. me, actually. Nope, his birthday's not until Monday. So his birthday's not until Monday. Well, early birthday to him. And he will make both shots there. And almost stolen there. DJ Waller fouled on the play. So now Crawford's four for 12. No, four for, I want to say, four for 10 tonight on free throws. I'm sure our guys would love for Crawford County to put us back in the bonus. Four for 11. My bad. Excuse me. No and problem. TJ Hicks by himself. 
And lays it in. Lays it in. So scores 56 23. Humongous DJ lead Waller, right now. Wide open. And it goes. Nice drive there by DJ Waller as Moore going to try and do the same thing here, but it's fouled by Rashad Ellison. So that, that might have been on the floor, though. That was. Actually, it was. Not on the floor, so he will take. Nope. That. That was on the floor. Excuse me. Crawford County's ball. Jarrell is going to inbound the ball. Gets it out to Moore. Who's going to take the three-pointer. Left-handed shot. No good. TJ Hicks fouled on the lay-in. Does not go. So he'll go to the line for two. The 31-point lead now for Crawford County. It was a 46-21 lead at halftime. So they're on a 10-4 run right now. And he will shoot his second one, and he will miss his first. My bad, excuse me, his first, and he misses his first one. And here comes the second free throw. It's up, and it's good. So that will make them 5 for 13 on the night. And a foul by Crawford County that will make the total of 18, second of the half. Yeah, that was number 20, Jarrell, from Crawford County. McClellan over to DJ, the three. Good. Good. Now that was a beautiful three to cut that lead down to 19. And T.J. Hicks with one of his own does not go. And that will be out of Crawford and be War Eagle ball. So with 4.35 left here in the third quarter, it scores 57, Crawford, 28. War Eagles. And Brandon being chased gives it up to Tonton over to D.J. Waller for the second three. No and good. No good. Probably needs to come in a little bit. He's been a couple short. He's been throwing a lot of deep, but not been seeking them. Number 13. And wide open Damian Brennan here for the lay-in. And there will be a foul on the play. Foul. But wait a minute. He hit the glass. That was a goaltending call. Excuse that was me. Goaltending. That so was that a goaltending. Be, that was goaltending. So it'll be two points. For War Eagles right now. That would be cutting the lead down to 27. So that shot did count as it is Crawford County ball. That guy has slapped the glass tonight twice now and has only been called once. Well, usually it's only called when it, it when it deflects the shot. Yeah. Or alters the shot. Yeah. As that ball will go. Putnam County's way as Nick Banks is going to come in for Ton Quavius Horton, number 50. So he's going to get a break a little while here in the third quarter. We're about midway through. And Excuse me, guys. I yawned there. My floor director caused that one. And makes it in. Number three right there. Crawford's defense, they're not giving... Putting them any time to rest. They are making them throw that, I mean, pass that ball. Not, not at all. They, they actually looked a lot like the Crawford County girls' defense early on yes. in the first game, which eventually fell apart um, Coming after that, the first quarter. There. Yeah. But again, they had an eight man rotation. DJ Waller here gives it out to McClellan. Damian Brennan going to take that shot. It's gonna, not going to no go. Good. And rebounded by Crawford. And that will be out on Crawford. On Crawford. So that will make it War Eagle ball on Crawford's side. A 
McClellan tightly played by Harden. Damon Brennan looking for an opening. Gives it up to McClellan. DJ wide open over there. McClellan takes a shot. And no, no good. good. Gary Waller with the foul, but doesn't get the call on him. And finally he calls finally he the foul. Him. And uh, Gary Waller had him wrapped up. Short in there. So uh, Jarrell's going to inbound the ball to Howard here. Thinking War Eagles defense should play like well, a nice steal by DJ Waller there, taking it up court and is tripped up for the foul. It's tripped up for the foul there. And yeah, that will be just a throw in. And that will make number 42, number 42. Gary Waller there is going to be replaced by Tonquavis Horton. DJ Waller took a hard fall there on that, that trip foul. He wasn't going up for the shot. I'll make number 13's foul go up to four now. One more and he's fouled out. He's got he's to set him down for a little bit right now. Oh, my bad. Six will make it him fouled out. Number 11. Going to bring it up the floor. Almost... Finds Hicks there as Nick Banks. Nice little pass there to McClellan, but a pop by Harden. It's going to remain Putnam ball. Great defense there by number 12 to get back and to contest that shot of DeMarchio's. But it will remain Putnam ball. DJ Waller with the ball. Damien Brandon gets and the blocked. three pack. And, and it's going to result in a turnover. That ball is going to go to Knowlton, who then gives it up. Reigns with the ball. So right now, Crawford County has made a total of 20 fouls tonight. 20 fouls. That is very too much. Very too much. And it uh, looks like Jarrell stepped on the baseline, or excuse me, the sideline over there. So it's going to be Putnam basketball. Rashad Ellison comes around and receives the pass up top. Gives it back to DJ to slow it down a little bit. Over to Nick Banks in the corner here. McClellan and DJ both wide open. Nick Banks takes a shot. And that's missed. And so Crawford will rebound it. Jarrell receives the pass. Going to well, bring it back out. Shot. And takes a shot for a three. And is looks like it was blocked by number 32. Yeah, Rashad Ellison actually got a hand on that one. But there's a foul on number 12, Harden there. So our guys are going to inbound the ball. Again, we'd like to thank Shoppers Pharmacy, Farmers Merchants Bank, and Marble Works for their contributions to WESN. And nice drive there by Tenquavius. Can't get it to go. He's, getting, he's slow to get up down there on the court as... Number 11, Reigns, is fouled on the shot. Gary Waller is actually going to come in for Tonquavius. Tonquavius having an issue there with his, with his face or something, something weird there. Looks like a little head bump to the floor. Reigns is going to take his first free throw, and it's good. And he will make the second one, so he's two for two right there. And that will make it seven for 15 for Crawford County Eagles tonight on free throws. Reigns is going to get it over to Hicks. Going to then drive in the paint, but fouled by Rashad Ellison. So that will give Crawford County another free throw. Or it will... Yes, right. it will result in one free throw. Yeah, both teams are actually in, or actually, Crawford's only the team in the, bon in the bonus, but one more foul by Crawford and we'll be in the bonus as well. So. Oh, 
Well, that will extend the lead uh, to 32 right now. And Crawford has sunk four straight free throws. So number 43, Colbert is going to Colbert is going to replace number 20, Durrell. Give him a breather for the rest of the third quarter. And he will sink that second free throw. So that makes it five straight for Crawford, and that makes it nine for 17. No. Yeah, they got off to a rough nine. start on the free throw line there, and they yeah. really bounced back here. Nick Banks with the three in the corner. Doesn't go. Falls the shot. Gets it out to Rashad. Over to DeMarchio. The three doesn't go. Hits the top, and it's going to be Crawford, Crawford County ball. ball. And Crawford has made seven of their last eight free throws right now, so they are bringing up their momentum. And closing down the third period with only 40 seconds left makes it Crawford 63 and Putnam County War Eagles 30. Oh, the Hicks tightly guarded by DJ. Bedard Rashad Ellison on Reigns, switches over to DeMarchio. Reigns gets the ball back with the lay in. And Doesn't go. He's missed, but it's rebounded by a Crawford player. Number five, Hicks. Hicks misses it, but Gary Waller makes the rebound. Actually, Gary Waller was fouled on that. That was an over to back, Paul. Gary Waller did get the rebound in the process. It's going to be Oracle basketball. And Gary Wall is going to go to the line for a one-on-one -one situation as our guys are also in the bonus. So everybody's all bonused up now for the rest of the game. So that will make the 23rd foul total on Crawford's defense. Crawford plays really good defense, but they get too aggressive, so that's not really helping. And Gary Waller up with the free throw, and it is no good, but rebounded by McClellan. No, and it's out by Crawford, so it would be War Eagle ball. It's weird. Nobody has made a one-on-one -one shot all night long, uh, either team, as that ball is stolen by Harden. He's going to lay it into the left hand right before the buzzer. And does it count? It does. Referee gives a signal and that ball counts. So a 35-point lead, 65-30, to 30, as that will shave two minutes off the clock for the fourth quarter, as it will be a six-minute fourth quarter instead of an eight-minute fourth quarter. Again, I'm Demetrius Woods alongside me, guest host, the awesome Shane Rocky. Uh, thank you to Bethany Thompson. Tom Hirsch and our entire camera crew, Chris Williams, Trayvon Ellison, and Jaquan Buckner. Buckner. And our queen dictator, Lindsay Chamberlain. <laughs>are back for the fourth period and if y'all did not know that the reason they shaved two minutes off the clock was because of once there's a team who's had at least a 25 point lead they shaved two minutes off the clock Damian Brandon he's the long three doesn't go DJ Waller with the rebound he's gonna go in for the layup and it's good nice tough layup there bless you there Shane as uh, Reigns is going to get the ball, gives it over to Hicks, who's going to bring it across half court. Out to Harden. So, War Eagles have only been 7 for 20 for 22 on free throws tonight. DJ Wallow gets fouled on the layup. So that will mark the 24th total foul and the 8th foul of the half and DJ will go for two here
And the shot goes there for DJ Waller, number four for Crawford. Hicks is going to come in for Hicks. That's weird. Okay, so maybe the Hicks brothers, or they may not even be related. Anyway, number four is going to come in for number five. Both are Hicks as DJ Waller drains the second free throw. Reigns guarded by Rashad Ellison. And Rashad Ellison gets the foul called on him there with the reach in. And he's going to go to the line for one and one. Reigns, number 11. That'll mark the 25th foul by Crawford. I mean, my bad. You're fine. You're good. That was, that was a button foul. My bad. <laughs> my bad there. DJ Waller, the long three, does not go. But that missed free throw will end a long streak of five by Crawford. Wide open three-pointer doesn't go in and out of the hoop. Gary, Gary Waller, Waller with a strong rebound there. Gary Wall has been looking aggressive with these rebounds. Absolutely. Rashad, the three. Go! Nice. That was a nice roll around on the rim, and it sunk in for a good three. That will mark the lead down to 30 now. And a three shot up, but no good, and Gary Waller with the rebound there. And Brennan with the three and no good either, but number 43 with the rebound. Taking it down court and slips and up and travel. falls for traveling. So that will mark it War Eagle ball. A shot over to Damon, over to Nick. Shot no good. Doesn't go. Almost, out of, almost goes out of bounds. That's a nice save there. By a Crawford County player. Harden with the shot. Contested by Rashad. No and good. And that ball's going to go out of bounds on number 43, Colbert, for a Putnam County War Eagle basketball. So, War Eagles, I mean, the Crawford County Eagles have been making a lot of fouls and turnovers. There. Easy now there by DJ Waller. A nice lay-in. Looks like Crawford's defense was just standing there. Didn't know what was going on, but two points will work. As and another steal. steal. Goes up for Banks, but no, is deflected by number 12. And does a nice over-the-head pass to keep it inbounds to number four. Gary Waller posting up. I mean, Reigns. No good. Gary Green. Waller <laughs> gets the rebound, but it's knocked out. A Crawford player and it a lot of whistles a confusing whistles. me. But anyway, um, it's Putnam County ball, and Nick Banks is gonna come out of the game, being replaced by Lake Mosley. I think the one of Crawford's players' foot was on the baseline before he touched the ball, and so Market Warriors ball. But with 2.30 here winding down in the fourth quarter, marks it 67. The key to three. Go! Oh, that's a nice job. And so the score is 67 Crawford, 42 Putnam. And Putnam's down by 25 right now. So I need to mark it up Ooh. a little bit. Nice fake. And Crawford still got the ball. Harden doesn't no go, but good, falls his own shot. Go to the other side of the three-point line, and it misses no that good, one. but Gary Waller gets the rebound and is fouled on the play of the rebound. G's going to be fouled, like you said there, so that's going to be one and one shot. He's going to go to the line for that'll, hopefully a pair of free-throw attempts. That'll mark the 10th foul of the ha half and the 26th foul of the game.
So Gary Wall is going to take his first of hopefully two. And, and he didn't. He can't no drain it there. So good. So that will mark it. War Eagles free throw nine for twenty six. That is not a very good percentage right there. Well, shot. That was a nice move down there. Going to come up the sideline. Lakey Mosley back to Bashad over to Amari. Stoudemire. <laughs> Gary Waller can't make the no shot. But it fouls number 43, Colbert, there. So that and will be a Crawford shot. A or free two. throw. For one. And Dion McBride will come in for Gary Waller. Gary Waller's been on the court all game almost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's done for the day. He's uh, he's got some good rebounds for the guys, and hopefully they can turn that into a positive effort next game as um, they will be playing Lamar County in Lamar County this Tuesday. So that's what three days from now. Um, but the next game we'll bring to you guys is when Taylor County comes to our house, which is next Friday night, the 1st of February, at 7 p.m. Is the time. There are no JV games that day. So our varsity girls and guys will take on the Taylor County. I don't know where their mascot is, but Taylor County is something. So I haven't heard much about Taylor County yeah. this year, but... But we did play them early on in the season, and our girls went down to Taylor County and beat them. Our girls, our guys, actually suffered a loss. Um, it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad loss. It was actually by two or three points. But um, again, y'all can come tune into that Friday game. That's next Friday, February first. So come tune into that game. That'll be our last game that we will live stream for you guys. Um, after that. We've got two more region games, um, one away against Northeast, and then another home game against Monticello. And then after that, we play Jones County um, Saturday, the, the February 9th. So that, that will end the regular season. Um, February 9th will for our basketball teams. As Tyrone Davis, number 34, brings it up the floor. Rashad Ellison gets it over to Amari, back to Rashad. Over to Lakee. Lakee to McBride. McBride out to TJ. No good. And Crawford will reap. No, no. It's a Putnam rebound, and it's a foul. Um... A foul on Putnam County, uh, on Crawford County. So Putnam will get two free throws at the line here. Crawford County has been 11 for 20 tonight so far on free throws, and Putnam County has been. Ten for twenty-seven. Actually, make that ten for twenty-eight. But, but a steal there by Rashad Ellison. A very quick player there. Fifteen seconds to go in the ball game. Tyrone Davis plows through for the jumper. Doesn't go. Mari Casey in the corner. Lakey like Mosley out to Rashad. Rashad the three. The buzzer beater. And Let oh, him go. And that will mark the end of this game here with Crawford County 69 and Putnam 45. Well, that was a good second half for Putnam there, but that second half, they didn't get enough points to take that lead. So that will end up in a Crawford win and a Putnam loss. Yeah, we were, we were down by 35 at one point, so we brought the, the deficit back down to 24. We held them to only about 20 points that, that whole entire half, so that was good to see. Um, again, we'll see you guys next Friday uh, as Taylor County comes to the house. Shoppers Pharmacy, Farmers Merchants Bank, Marlboro Works, we thank you guys very much for your support and sponsorships. 
Again, I'm Demetrius Woods. Alongside me, Shane Rocky. We've been glad having you here, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bethany Thompson on the scoreboard for you guys. Um, the always great Tom Hirsch. And Chris Williams. Trayvon Ellison and Jaquan Buckner on the cameras tonight. And um, for the great pitchers. Queen dictator Lindsey Chamberlain uh, runs the whole show for us. Uh, so we'd like to thank her as well. Again, thank you guys for coming out tonight. See ya.